I'm not quite dead yet. He's getting better. Yep, we made our, our nose to nose consist and the engines are apparently not entirely dead. So uh, I guess we ought to do something about them. Hopefully this starts. All the breakers are up. <laughs> it did start. And the windshield wipers are still turned on. There's no glass, but the, the wiper is just still on. So, you know, that's, um, that's fine. And uh, we need to retrain line everything as you do. <laughs> it's all gone bloody wrong. Well, anyways, what's up, guys? This is Heiss. Uh Last time we played Dura Valley, we did uh, the miraculous achievement of unlocking the slug. And we successfully pulled it out of the garage and got it down off uh, off the mountain. Um, that was successful. Uh, instantaneously thereafter, it was not terribly successful. <laughs> Uh, as yeah, we binned it at the, uh, the end of the last episode because we ran out of brakes basically Which was not great But uh, come to find out uh, Thanks to you wonderful viewers out there providing me with the details of how things work uh, Despite the fact that we are MUing The slug and the DE2s and everything together. They're getting MU'd so that the power can transmit and everything and normally the MU connection also works for the independent brake, like a uh, like a modern diesel locomotive. It doesn't work for the slug, and so that means the entire time we were trying to use the independent brake, and we had that giant, ridiculously heavy brick. <laughs> it uh, wasn't gonna let us do anything. Yeah, it weighs 125,000 kilograms, and fires custom cool cut cartridges at over 10,000 rounds per meal. Last I heard, so, you know. <laughs> so, live and learn. Uh, we understand that that's not, uh, not ideal. But we're gonna go take these things over, uh, probably repair the two DE2s, and then we will see about doing some switching with the, uh, redonkulous thing that is the slug. Assuming we can- oh, no, don't throw that while we're on it. We can run through G-yard instead of E-yard, I suppose. It's fine. God, I can just rip this one up. That, uh, that other DE2... ...shut down? It's probably broken. It's fine. Oh, we're running through the passenger station. That's an interesting twist. Yeah, did this other one just die? Yep, it absolutely did. I don't know why. It doesn't really matter. We don't really need it. Might as well tow it dead anyway. We'll just blitz through the passenger platform here. Pay no mind to us, friends. We do uh, get a slightly slower top speed with this. 65 kilometers an hour or 55 and uh, normally you can get about 70 71 so when you're tied to the slug you do lose a little top speed it's fine kick it off let it roll all right uh, maybe we want to slow down a little bit more still it's a spicy curve Locomotive's already ruined. It doesn't matter if we flat spot the wheels further, right? Get off that and reline that switch for the main because we're good employees, good railroaders. All those things. And uh, yeah, we're going to take these over to the shop, get them fixed up, see about doing some switching with this thing. So that's the, that's the whole point. I'm sure it's going to be great over the road because you don't have to spice the traction motors anymore. But, uh, you know, it's probably going to be a killer in switching, so I want to give it a shot. Little side note, um, I heard 
via YouTube comments again that in the uh, that station platform we blissed through, the station slash passenger jobs mod has been updated for a simulator so you can run passenger trains again should you want to mod your Dero Valley which I'm still content to play it uh, as as uh, as I have with no mods though uh, I did I did add one mod beyond skin manager because so obviously we use skin manager get our uh, our fun SDNS ESMD and ESMDT skins she loves so much really managed to stop that like just a foot short so let's get past the switch there we go uh, I did add one mod after a comment on my s282 rearranged video um, and somebody suggested hey you should play with that mod but you can't rearrange the S282. You can only live with the ones you're given. So I did that. So I've installed... Oh, heavens. We didn't clear the switch. But it was apparently fine. It was... It was fine. It still is fine. <laughs> the switch dunks over. Okay. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Burn it down. Okay, even with the uh, <laughs> even with the slug, that's a sure-fired way to cook your traction motors. Got it. But here with the slug, it's wide open throttle. Accelerate slowly, but uh, it, it really can't even pull enough amps to heat things up. So that's gonna be fun. But yeah, uh, I, I love the idea of having to deal with different wheel arrangements on the steam engines. And so I guess uh, we I do see one over there, so we'll see what we've been blessed with. And there's a DM3 and another DE2, a DE6. And whatever version of the S blank, 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 uh, we've been blessed with. So that'll be fun to see. How much money do we have? Do we have money to service these things? We have 50 grand. We'll be able to service these poor choo choos the best we can. Kadunk, 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 kadunk. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright. Slam on the air. Bring it to a nice and easy stop. Kapow. Let's see. 05 is in range. Alright, so we're. I can only service one thing at a time. Electrical powertrain. What, what is it that I always say about uh, spicing the traction motors? Mechanical powertrain. It's fine. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. It's unimportant. Oh. Oh. This is... Uh, we're not going to be able to afford this. We have 50 grand. And that's like 40 grand on just the first... Like, yeah. That's already 66 grand. So, uh, we're not gonna do that. So, you know what? It's, uh, it's turbo done. I hardly knew you, friend. But, uh, we, we don't desire you anymore. So. Good night. Goodbye. I feel just saying goodbye. Uh, this thing has... We should probably put some gas in this at the very least. Let's do that. Come on, we can shove through that break. Yeah, see, this is less turbo destroyed, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna put some gas in it. Oh, I dropped the thing. You have to hold it down. Uh, click. There we go. Add the diesel. Tunk. Yeah, we can afford three grand in diesel. Woo! Um, you know, knowing how fees work out, I should probably try it and pay for as much as I can. I guess we'll run over to the station real quick and see kind of where we're sitting. Because I can't afford all the repairs needed on the other, other engine, but I don't know what my 
repair bills look like, and it's not going to let me take any jobs uh, if I have a big fee and I've got money to pay for it. So I don't know where my copay is at and all that, so let's take a look-see. After we had a clean slate last episode. Holy crap. Oh, we only need to pay uh, 31 grand, so uh, we, can, we can do that. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna kapow. Look, boom. No more fees. It's fine. Okay, well now we've got to see what we want to shunt. Pipes. That's a thing. Excavators. Those are freight halls. I'm gonna shunt this time. Logistical halls. The MacGuffin. We'll prepare a very short train with gasoline and diesel. We do like the Splody Boys. Oh, that is the best job. So easy. City Southwest. It's a big honking train. Ooh, okay. That's a bigger train of Splody Boys. I think uh, I think we'll load and prepare the train for City Southwest, and then maybe next time we can haul both of them. I like that idea. All right, the SL twenty one. Now where, where be those cars? You know what? I bet you it won't take 21 minutes. So we're just gonna pop it in, see what we gotta do. One pickup, load and prepare. It's on D5S. We gotta go to the C3 and we put it on the E2. Okay, so we gotta go to D5. D yard is this one of the stubs. Yeah, one of the many stubbies. Stubby Joe. That's, uh, that is the wrong menu. I don't have my station menu on me. Well, you can kind of see it. There's the, the stems off the end of the harbor, and D-Yard is the furthest over of them, so. Anyways, uh, now that we've told our Diesel, our friend, our poor DE2 quote-unquote friend that we don't need him anymore, we should probably flick all these breakers off just in case. Incurring light bulb costs. Oh, what is the, uh, what is the ES, what choo-choo is, have we been blessed with over here? It is a 482. Got a mountain here. That would, uh, that's, you know, honestly, in Dear Al Valley, with, with that mod, that's probably just a worse 282. So, you know, not blessed, not cursed, just kind of like, eh. But, uh, you know, we'll get to it and use it at some point. Oh, God, I can just rip the stick with this thing. How? I assume that this thing's break is off. It is. Sticks to full. Just not a care in the world. That's probably enough speed. I think it's 20 through here. And we're doing 30. It's fine. And we need to remember to use the automatic. Because the, uh, the independent does nothing for the slug, and that's where all of our weight is. Yeah, that really does want to stop quite nicely now, doesn't it? Alright, roast him. You gotta evenly preheat those traction motors before you, uh, you cook anything on them. Okay, let's, let's see. So D yard. Yeah, I want, I want my station map. Give me my station map. There we go. And we'll alt mode, click harbor. Yes, D yard's there. B yard is beyond where we just were. C yard is the first one. D yard is the second one. We came through the F yard, which is the passenger station. But we gotta go from D. We have to load at C and put it in E, apparently. Uh, it's, it sounds like a country song with all the chord choices. <laughs> Alright, D5. Let's go get him. Uh, yeah, it'll be the first switch here, so. Line that switch. I mean, got in, in full throttle, it's only pulling 200 amps, which is great. But it really doesn't accelerate that quick, and maybe that's a good thing, he said. Blitzing through that way too fast. 
Okay. Oh, D5. I don't know. It doesn't say... Is it left to right always? Might be. I don't know. I'm going to guess to the right. We'll set some air up. Let's see. D6. Six and seven. Pootus. Not like that. D5 is over there. Yep. It's alright. We just put full reverse. Just do the thing. Just that easy. Alright, roast him. Oh. Oh. I didn't mean roast him that literally that fast. Twice in a row. It's fine. The ground relay loves us. Did we just murder this poor locomotive further than it was already murdered? Nope, it's all fine. Slug's unkillable, so... If we blow up the DE2, there are more DE2s to be had. <laughs> yeah, that, like, that literally exploded so fast. Which I really don't know if they would do that or not. Like, I don't know how many amps it would pull if you were able to throw the locomotive in, in reverse and just load against it. I just don't know. But, uh, it'd be interesting. Interesting study. Alright, line the switches to the right. Perhaps. There we go. Dunk. Dunk. And now gently go kiss those tank cars. Just, just a little, little chef's kiss. It's on the 5S here. And we are lined all the way in. Lots of splody boys in this yard right now. And it looks like we're touching one of the only sets that's not loaded with splody. Single tier. Air takes a minute to uh, to release with this thing, but uh, that's pretty good dunking speed, don't you think? Bang! It's fine. Dunk, spadunk, fadunk. There we go. Get that charged up. Didn't break it. Nope. Kick the brake off. Break our choo choo. Nope. Beautiful. All right, now we put it in full reverse. Does it care yet? Nope. Still doesn't care. Still doesn't care. Oh, it it uh, it does increase the temp earlier. Because normally you need you need to pull about 500 amps for it to really increase the temp. And now we're starting to move, and now the amps are coming down. See, you can't always just put it straight to 8, or 11, or 12, or however many notches the Dero Valley throttle has. But you can be pretty mean to it. It's fun. And so now we're going to shove through the slug. We're going to go over to the sea yard which is just over there, loaded over there, which is not necessarily ideal, but uh, we're gonna go in there and we'll, we'll head in that way, but then we'll be perfectly set to back out. Because right now we're here in the D yard, we're on this end of our cars, our cars are by D and we're kinda up here. And we're gonna snake in there, drop down in, katunk, do the thing, load the cars, shove them back into the E yard very straightforward switching operation. So we picked them up on D5, they're going to C3, and then E2. Could even go line our switches for E2 while we're, while we're waiting here, uh, soon. Probably. It's probably a horrid idea, but it's fine. E2 is to the left. Uh, almost all the way to the left. 
There's other cars on E2. Oh, no. Interesting. That's all lined. Train's not running away from us too far. Oh, but we gotta go get the switch into the sea yard. Crap. Crap! Oh no! Oh no! Yep, that one. The one that we blew past right there. We can still get it. The intrusive thoughts. Do we let him win? All right, let's see what it does. <laughs> kind of what we anticipated. Okay. Did we need to do that? No. Did we want to do that? Yes. Did it break the car? Ah, kind of. It's fine. It's not full of gasoline yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we don't want to clear that. We want to re-rail it. Okay, that's all great. And now we just gotta basically shove it. Those guys are gonna have their brakes on by the way, that's the way the rear rail tool works. We've learned this many times over now. How many times do we need to teach you this lesson, old man? Except it's me and Dero Valley, it's fine. Okay, straight to eight. Oh, straight to eight the other way. After braking. The other backwards. Okay, you squish the train, and I will put it together. Bang! My brake shoes are screaming. It's fine. Can you put me on the platform? The platform. There we go. <laughs> Come on. Why is, why is life so hard for you, you poor buffer and chain couplers that suck? May as well line ourselves for the correct track there. Get me on the train! Okay, Katunk. We're going too fast, so we're just gonna do that real quick not get the actual screw part of this done. There we go. Beautiful. Pow. Pow. Like nothing ever happened. And we still didn't go far enough back to get into the sea yard entrance. It's fine. We're still working against the, the brakes. It's fine. Don't let the intrusive thoughts win. Who's shrieking back here? I thought I got both your brakes already. Must not have. Nope, oh, didn't get that one. As evidenced by the shrieking. <laughs> As you do, it's fine. Okay, what was that about? Uh, it's an easy time bonus thing we're gonna have no problems with it it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine breaks straight to eight in reverse yeah you can be a lot more reckless with the slug and not really care and um if you haven't noticed, that's kind of how I played Euro Valley, so I'm very pleased with that. Okay, C3 is the loading unloading. C3, yep. There's only three tracks in here, from what I recall. I'll probably left to right, one, two, three. Yep. Okay. We don't want to go that way. We want to go that way. This is a strange thing. It doesn't make any sounds. You'd hear motor sounds from one of these. 
traction motors make noise. Uh, they actually make pretty obvious noise. You can tell how fast you're going by the sounds they make. And so you'd be hearing those up here, which they don't have, which, I mean, to be fair, it's a concrete block. You wouldn't think it would make sound. But traction motors are surprisingly noisy. All right, are we mostly on this track? Mostly on this track. All right, dump it. Dump it. Do 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 do. Dump it. All right, there we go. Shift keeps lying to me. I keep thinking it's sprint, and it is not. And, uh, now we've got our mythic little box here. Tunk. Oh no, the other the other load. Come on. Dunk, 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 dunk. Train's fully loaded of diesel. Alright. So it's only flammable. It's not a splody boy. It's only a flammable boy. Alright, well, there's no problem not protecting the shove and just giving it the beans, right? Give it the beans! The beans! I wonder how long I can give it the beans for. Maybe I just leave it and run eight for as long as I can. It's we're lined all the way back in at this point. It doesn't really matter as long as we don't get going too fast through any of the switches. So if we hit, if basically if we hit a little bit more than 40 km an hour, we'll need to shut down, but uh, it's taking its sweet time getting there. So I think we might be able to just leave it run. Yeah. Okay. Here we, here we, here we go. He's finally here. CG coconut gun. <laughs> if you're not aware of the channel Silver Gunner or Silva Gunner, it's uh, quite entertaining. If you like video game music, at least. And or memes. I mean, it's a little bit of both. But. Yeah, I got this is about half throttle, just leaving it there. Not pulling any any amps, hardly at all, and uh, we're just holding thirty. So you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna jump the hazmat. Actually, we don't need to do that, do we? We can just we can just get it. Oh no, no, actually, we're if there's cars in this track. That's right. I was like, why do I need to protect this shove? I could just send it in there. Oh God, get me out of the tank car. Please and thanks. Going a little fast still. It is in fact E2, right? E2, here we are, lined in. Okay, those are spicy, this is spicy. Brakes please, brakes please. Probably give it too much brake, honestly. Yeah. Are the bleeders on tank cars? Somebody showed me. Somebody sent me a screenshot where it highlighted where the bleeds were on the tank cars, and I still just d do not know where they are. No clue. Normally in the middle of the car on most cars I'm, I'm familiar with, but that's fine. But yeah, the brakes released, so we'll just uh, we'll just let that be. I didn't want to leave that open that long, but yeah, the gods of Dura Valley said, thou shalt leave it open for that long. Because we're gonna gently dunk this highly explosive, whatever it is, cryohydrogen. Yeah, it seems like a mistake to let me in a train yard with cryohydrogen in it. Hydrogen, hydrogen, that one. That one. See, I wanted to like trim the speed a little bit by just little pulses. Beautiful. Chef stunk. Bang. See, and we'll just set one brake on this car. And then we'll just work the butts off out of this thing, shoving the rest of this crap in there. 
Okay, now we're getting some decently spicy amperage. But even 600 is so, so little for this DE2. And it's already scaling off. Yeah, look at that. Easy money. And uh, we'll just... Tunk, kadunk, fadunk, shwadunk. Pop the air. All right, we'll see what our uh, intrusive thought fee is gonna be. I guess we shall see. <laughs> as soon as we get to the station. <sighs> oh, made it. Pow. 19 minutes, not bad. Uh, and we made a thousand dollars in profit. Fourteen hundred, maybe. <laughs> Our intrusive thoughts were rather expensive. It's fine. There you go. Fees. You mean you mean those ones? Those those fees? If we must. Patink. Look at that. Same amount of money. Uh, well, let's see. Well, we need to service the engine. And uh, we still have our MacGuffin, Logistical Hall. DE6, that's the big one to get. And then has three and then the military jobs. Well, uh, I guess we'll go grab the engine and try and service it manually. Save a little cash, because we should be able to afford it based on the fees set and everything. And we'll call it a day from there. So let's do it. And then, uh, and then next time we'll try this thing over the road see how it does. It does look bloody ridiculous, doesn't it? <laughs> it's fun, though. Uh, I know Fly Junior said he was going to be working on getting skins working for it, so look forward to seeing that. Oh. The other backwards. Every time you teleport in the cab, you're never quite sure which direction you're facing. And by you, I mean me. Maybe you know which way you're going to face, but uh, I tend to not, so. <laughs> Just going to leave the power on. Raise the pound. All right, that's officially a little spicy, so we'll just shut her off there. Go zoom, zoom. Not end up in Sea Yard. And watch the DE6 slug do the dance relative to us. It's bouncing all over the gosh darn place. It's quite the thing. Still doing a little bit more than 40, which is plenty around this curve. We got uh, some medium d -roll spicy sounds in there. Dump the air. It's good train handling, you know. Dump the air like that, always. Beautiful stop that time. Full speed. Full board into the abyss. I mean the roundhouse. Same difference. It's 20. You know, I kind of wish it was facing the other way because then they can use the DE6 slug as the battering ram that it's meant to be. They're indestructible. And uh, we'll choose violence with that at some point. Don't you worry, viewers. That will happen. Right now? No. Right now we need some more dollary dues, but uh, next time, or the next time, or the time after that, we shall be silly. Shocker, it's me. I wanna hear a ding. There it is. Oh, it didn't even make a bang. No bang. 
single tier. Drop the fuel all over the place. Katunk. Uh, huh. Uh, bunk. 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 Oh god, it actively just uses engine oil. It's fine. Alright, only five grand to service the choo choo. That's not too bad. Whee! Alright. Well, that's going to be all for this one, folks. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, next time we'll go over the road. So, easy, quick episode today. But uh, depending on how upload schedules and things work and stuff and words, uh, you'll probably see this before the normal Dear Old Valley Tuesday, probably. Or maybe it's Tuesday. Who knows? Uh, it just depends. Life's hard sometimes, so, you know. Content flows like a river. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching. We will catch you all next time.